Now this tent, this is my kind of tent. Let's get into it. Today we're talking the Gazelle Overline Edition T3X Hub Tent. This tent is amazing. This is one of my favorite kind of tents. This is an instant pop-up tent. Take, they say it takes 90 seconds to pop up. I would say they're pretty much on the, on the ball with it. I mean, it could be a little bit less even. Uh, with the tank, popping it up, taking it out of the bag, putting the rain fly on it, getting the whole thing set up, not staked in, but just all that stuff. It literally was a breeze. Now you guys have seen my other videos where I'm constantly in a battle and in a, in a fight with these tents. Uh, this is not the case. I love air tents for the number one reason that they're so easy to put together. You just inflate the tubes and they go up. This is the same thing. You literally just pop them out, pop these uh, the post out, and pop up the roof and the tent's all set up and ready to go. So this Gazelle tent is a little different because the Overline Edition comes with the footprint, a waterproof bag, and the heavy duty stakes that go into the ground. It comes already with the floor on the bottom. It's a very thick material. You can tell when you feel this material of the tent itself. It's very, very heavy duty and heavy, very heavy water resistant. So it's a fantastic tent. This is a three person tent. When I look at it, I would say that I, I could fit two people in there comfortably. Uh, maybe three with a child, uh, maybe a small child or so. But it's, they do have a, a bigger version than this one. I just wanted to go with a smaller version to show you guys because most of the tents I've been showing you are usually larger tents for larger families. And I get that you, most of you guys probably are maybe two people, you know, maybe one person. And you want to have a smaller thing, a smaller footprint and a smaller tent to get in the vehicle with you. And this is it, guys. This for me, this is a game winner right here. So I really, really have fallen in love with this tent. This tent has six windows and allows it a, a fantastic amount of, of uh, breeze to come in through there and get that cross breeze. And it has two doors. Now the doors, you can have one set up as a window or you can have one or both of them set up as doors. So you can come right through. So it's a little bit of an odd shape to a door, but it's good enough to get in and out of. I mean, you have no problem. You gotta just bend over a little bit, but it's super good. When you come in here, you can easily just get in and out. No problem. I'm about 5'7". At the center of the tent, I can stand up perfectly with no problem with my shoes on. Get up and do whatever I need to do in the tent while having to come outside of it. So that's a very, very good feature about it. Mostly tents are, you know, they're very big. Well, at least the ones that you need to get into that have space and give you some headroom. They're very big form package and, you know, it's, it's hard to get those things in and out of the vehicle or sometimes hard to carry because they're very heavy and bulky. This one is not the, the case. I mean, the bag it comes in is very nice and sleek. So the tent, when it's packed in this bag, it's a little bit long. So you, some of you guys might have a little bit of issue getting into your vehicle. The Gazelle Gazebo that we have, it's a larger footprint. So it's, it's a harder to get into the vehicle, harder to store it. We take, we take it in our trailer. But this one's smaller. So, I mean, it will fit in most of the vehicles, but not if you're in a very small car, unless you get it onto the roof. Um, but what I like about it, it comes all in there and it comes all packed. So this tent is one of the things that I would set up, especially here where I live, with an AC in it. Because this kind of material will hold in that, that cold or that heat, whatever you're trying to trap in there. Because it's a very thick material. The floor diameter is 76 by 82. The height 68 inches and the weight 30 pounds. It says it's a capacity of three people. When it's collapsed down, it's 10 by 10 by 57. And then the color, it's a Pacific blue color, which I really, really like this color to it. I would comfortably say that you could fit two people in it with maybe a child. Um, and it's collapsible where, you know, it's gonna fit, like I said, most of your trunks, most of your cars, things of that nature. It's probably gonna fit in there because it's not a very long package. And I'll show you guys in one of our small cars and how that's gonna fit in the truck and see if that works out. We'll test that out for you guys and see how that looks. Um, the bag itself that it comes in is water resistant. So it's not gonna be something where it's gonna get wet and all damaged, which is most of the case when you guys go camping, you know, if there's a big rainstorm or maybe that morning dew and you put that tent away, it's all wet and bag, it's all nasty and like muggy and stuff like that. So this is not the case. The bag is designed for that. That's what this Overland Edition is for. One of the things we didn't set up here is the footprint. We just have it set up on the ground as a demonstration for you guys. And I don't have it staked in either, but it does bring the footprint. It brings in this nice bag where it's like a breathable mesh material and it brings a couple of stakes so you get it into the ground. That's really nice because most of the times when you pick up these footprints and you're packing up in the, in the morning, getting out of camp, these things always have some, you know, they're always wet on the bottom from the humidity and the condensation. So this will let it breathe through. So avoid getting some mold and nasty smell on it. So I like this. Um, and I like that it comes in a separate little bag. So it's every, everything seems very well thought out of. Um, and you know, it's something where you can compress it, get it into very nice. So I really, really like that. So this might seem like something very dumb, but it's actually something very important. When you're camping, most of you guys out there know that you go camping. These bags and where you pack them into and how you get them back home or you know, to the campsite is very important. And this is a very, very nice material bag. You can tell that it feels like a very rugged material and the zippers are really nice and sturdy. It has some very big zippers and they run very smooth. So the nice thing about Gazelle, what I like about their packs, the way they make them is that they make them bigger than what the tent actually is. So when you go to pack it back into the, into the bag itself, it doesn't matter if you don't pack it up perfectly, it will fit and then you compress it to get it smaller. Instead of making it very exact to the size where you can never get it back into there, no, that's not what Gazelle does. And I really like that. So what I really like is on the bag, you have this pocket here where you keep the stakes. 
And these stakes are like the heavy duty stakes, the really nice ones. Um, not those cheap ones that most of these uh, tent companies give you that they'll flip, you know, they'll come out of the ground with any little wind. No, these are the heavy duty ones, which will actually have a little bit of a, like a torque to them. And they go into the ground and I've used them for my uh, gazebo, the gazelle gazebo, and they work fantastic. So I really like that they include these into there with a little protection at the end. But what is nice is you just grab the stakes and you just plop them into here and they go very nice on the outside versus putting them in the inside where the tent is going to be get all dirty from all the dirt that's usually included with those stakes we're going to try to get this in the tent it's hard to always record inside the tents and get the actual feeling of it through a camera but we're going to do the best we can so this tent comes with a couple pockets around to get organize your gear in it and that's very nice because sometimes you don't really have a spot to put your things if you look here on this wall for example and you can feel it's it's actually very very tough and it's not going to pull the tent down so i'm pulling very hard as you can see, the wall isn't moving, so that's really nice. So you can put a, a lot of luggage, a lot of uh, your gear into here, store a couple things in there. And all around you have these nice windows with these zippers. Very easy to zip up. So you can close that in, in a GIF, right? If you guys can see here, this is the system that's all around that is what creates the instant pop-up tent, right? They just literally pull them out and the tent will pop up. So you see the skeleton of it from the inside, which I actually kind of like seeing that, the, the bare bones of it, and I think it's very nice. Um, so you have a couple of these pockets. So you have one pocket here, you have one pocket here, and you have two more pockets on that side. You have this door on this side here, which you can leave it as the mosquito net, uh, or you can close it as a door, whatever you prefer, and you can get in and out of it from this side as well. Um, personally, what I would do I would probably leave this, if I'm gonna be doing some primitive camping where there's no AC or anything like that, I would keep this window open like this um, and just use that one as a door. And lots, a lot of that cross music come in through here. So I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. But currently inside of this tent, I'm yes, I'm hot, but I'm not dying of heat like I usually am in most of these tents because all these windows here allows a lot of cross breeze ventilation and it's very, very nice. Now, let's talk a little bit about the flooring. The flooring is a nice material. So what I like about it is, a lot of these tents have this crunchy material, the floor to it. This material is different. It feels more like a, or I would say a raincoat, uh, like the raincoat material where the water just repels right off of it. So it doesn't make that annoying crunch as bad as most of these other tents are. So that's very nice. And it's all the way up to the seams. Now, if you, let's say you get this thing very dirty or it's wet on the inside, let me show you a nice cool thing about it. You see right here on the wall, you can grab this. It's all Velcro and you just, take the Velcro off and it separates. So you can easily clean the floor off, clean the tent, get it all dried. And then when you're done, just put it back on. Now that's a super cool feature, which a lot of these tents don't have. And these guys thought about everything. So it's one of my favorite things. So this is me standing up here. I'm about five, seven, and I'm standing at the center of the tent. In the center of the tent, I still have space. So I can stand up, I can get dressed here. I can do whatever I need. So it's, it's kind of nice to have that space in such a small tent. Now above my head here, you have another gear basket where you can add a couple things in here. Maybe you wanna put a light um, and then that light will illuminate this part here before you, so it's really nice. And then above here, as you can see where, blow, where the rain fly is, it still is a lot of area where the, it, the tent will breathe and help out with that condensation. The tent here from side to side is pretty wide. I'm spraying out completely and I still can't really touch each side of it. Now let's try one thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring an air mattress into here. I'm gonna throw it in there. And we're gonna see how much space we actually have once the mattress is in that tent. To give you guys a perspective of putting an air mattress plus your gear, how much space you'll actually have. So we're gonna try to drop in this mattress. This is our air mattress that we use for camping. It is our favorite mattress. It's a little big to get in through that door, but we're gonna try it out. But before I do, I just gotta tell you guys, we'll do a separate review and a separate video on this. Our family and friends love this and say they sleep better in this sometimes than at home. That's not a joke, but we'll set up another video for that. All right, let's try to get in through this door, which will be very difficult. So obviously, I don't recommend inflating it outside and putting it into the tent. I really recommend doing it in the tent already, but I already had it inflated, so we're just gonna drop it in like that. But let's check out what it looks like on the inside. All right, so this is the air mattress inside, and I gotta admit, I didn't think it was gonna fit well. It actually fits almost perfect uh, long-wise, or I mean, that's not real long-wise is, it's all the same thing, it's a weird shape, right? But we can lay in here perfectly fine. So I really, really like this. And this is the mattress my wife and I use. This is about a full size. And it fits in your good. And I still have a good amount of space. I would say I have probably about maybe two to three feet. I would say two feet probably, two to change 
this way where I can actually put my gear in here or I could drop an AC. Let's try that now. So this right here is an EcoFlow Wave Heater and AC. It's a 5100 BTU AC, 6100 BTU heater. Super portable as you can see. It works with the battery. We're still waiting on the battery. So we're gonna give you a separate review on that. But it works with the battery or it works with solar or it works with the actual you know, electricity as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in there. We're gonna try it out and we're gonna see how it works. Let's plop it in. This is the heat extraction pipe. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to the top, get the heat out of the tent. We'll bring it out to the door. Now in a permanent setup, I would leave it out through my window on the outside where the back where I'm not gonna use it as a door, but this is just temporary. I wanna show you guys what it's gonna look like and how you can make it work for yourself. Right here, we grab the drainage pipe. We'll grab, connect it to the drainage tube. There is enough space for the AC in here, perfectly fine, with some space on the side, plus this space back here, or probably about to have another three feet back behind me, space on the side, and let's not forget, I have all these pockets on each corner of the tent, plus above me. So this is actually a small tent with a lot of space to put a lot of things in it. And like I said, my favorite, where we live, I can put an AC in it. That's just super important for me. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing some more information about this AC and how it works, I want to try to cool this thing down and see how cool it gets. Make sure to tune into the next video. I'll put that review up for you guys to check it out. All right, so in conclusion, guys, I'm in love with this tent. Remember, this is the T3X Hub Tent Overland Edition from Gazelle. We have their Gazelle, the Gazelle Gazebo, and we love their product. We can stand by it. We say it's a great product, and I just love this tent. So I can't say nothing but good things about it. If you're a small family, if you're a couple of two, maybe with a child, this is a great tent for you. Get all your gear in there, get yourselves in there, be comfortable, set up and ready to go in no time. I cannot stand being in a campsite, getting there, spending an hour, you know, being all frustrated trying to set up a tent. This is not gonna be the case for this one, guys. So I highly recommend this one. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to please reach out to me in the comments. Let me know what your questions are. I'll try to answer those as much as I can. Please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.